Last weekend, Alexei Navalny, the Russian opposition leader who was unjustly arrested, lost his appeal case against his now two and a half year prison sentence. Despite the loss of the appeal, Navalny used his time in court to his benefit, urging fellow activists to not be afraid of the government and to keep speaking out. I'm joined today by a woman who knows all about the risks of speaking out in Russia, Nadia Tolokonova. She is a conceptual artist, a political activist, and known better internationally as one of the most outspoken spoken founding members of the Russian art collective group Pussy Riot. Nadia, welcome to the show. Thank you for speaking with me today. I'm a huge fan. Hello. Thank you so much for having me today. Well, Nadia, Pussy Riot has been creating art and music for almost 10 years. You've said, quote, the group isn't a band, but it's a movement. And after receiving acclaim for your work, you became internationally famous over the outcry of your two-year prison sentence following the Punk Prayer performance, which was actually nine years ago this week. Um, I can't imagine what that was like, but how did it ultimately change you? Um, well, first of all, I want to use this opportunity to express my deep gratitude to everyone who supported us uh, during our prison sentence and trial. It really made a huge difference. So I just want to encourage all of you to um, support political prisoners because it does make difference. Never think that your voice is too little. Like every voice counts, literally. Um, so, and it changed me uh, in a lot of ways, uh, but it changed me. Um, it actually gave me bigger belief in humanity because I've seen how many people are um, ready to support those who they never saw in life, who they have no direct connection to. Um, and we were receiving letters uh, when we were serving our two years in jail in uh, labor camps uh, from all around the world. Um, and it was uh, just fantastic, it was magic. But also I have some negative negative consequence, consequences, uh, such as, you know, regular nightmares about going back to jail. And, um, you know, overall, um, it, it, it definitely prison time doesn't have good impact on your mental health. So I'm still struggling with depressive episodes ever since I uh, was released from jail. Well, Nadia, you were released early because of international pressure, and the 2014 Winter Olympics were hosted then in Russia. And President Biden recently had a call with President Putin that ended with both of them agreeing to maintain, trans quote, transparent and consistent communication. Uh, how important do you think this international pressure will be now? And do you believe that there can actually be transparent communication with Vladimir Putin? It's not, it's not just about Biden. Like, uh, as I said before, every voice counts. And if President and Biden feels uh, feels like um, he wants to talk with Putin about Navalny. That's awesome. That really helps. And even though Putin likes to portray himself as a person who does not care about anyone's opinion, he does because he leaves them on us and he has to listen to what we have to say. Well, Nadia, two of the Pussy Riot members, Masha and Lucy, are now under house arrest and they're facing up to two years in prison for supporting Navalny. This is just horrible. Have you had any contact with either of them? Either of them, And how are they doing? Um, well, I don't have right to have any contacts with them um, other than through their lawyers. So they completely cut from, um, from all of us. They're isolated. Um, they can't do anything. They they can't uh, continue doing their activism. They cannot appear online. Uh, they can't even uh, go to work to support um, themselves and their families. And uh, we don't really know how long will it last. Uh, they're currently under house arrest and uh, they're facing two years in jail, um, which is really horrible because one of those members uh, is Masha Lokina, who already served two years in jail um, was me. She was serving in different labor um, camp from me, but uh, she went through the same horrible nightmare as uh, I did. And uh, to me, <clears throat> it's the ultimate is the ultimate uh, nightmare to come back to jail. And now Masha Lechin is facing it again. And I can stress enough that uh, it's really important right now to support uh, Masha and Lucia from Pussy Riot. And um, in addition to that, uh, Masha and Lucia are a queer couple, and uh, currently they're separated and they're held uh, in different places, in different houses from one another, because um, technically 
um, they belong to one criminal case and they can't communicate with each other. That's horrific. Uh, you recently released a new song and music video, which was filmed last February in St. Petersburg, with the help of over 200 LGBTQ plus feminist and anti-authoritarian activists called Rage. The song was supposed to debut on your new album of the same name later this year. What pushed you to release it early? Uh, ever since Alexei Navalny has uh, come back to Russia uh, on the 17th of uh, January, it started a big wave of protests in Russia because Navalny is very, very much supported by Russian people who, um, who are tired of Vladimir Putin, frankly. Um, and, uh, and it's, uh, you know, pro uh, the wave of protests started the wave of political repressions. Um, we've seen people being beaten up in the streets. Um, 54 years old uh, woman was uh, kicked in her stomach and uh, she fell on the ground and she ended up um, in hospital in reanimation. And <clears throat> watching all of these things happening on the streets of Russia made my heart bleed. And um, I've decided that I have to use the ultimate weapon that we have uh, against the authoritarian system. And ultimate weapon that we have um, is art. Uh, it's proven to be more effective than anything else, at least for Pussy Red. So we've decided to release um, just, you know, in a few days, we've decided to release um, Rage or Basit, that's the name uh, of the song in English, uh, in Russian. And uh, we dedicated this song to all political prisoners, to everyone who was arrested on the protests of, for, um, in support of Alexei Navalny. Well, you and Alexei Navalny are incredibly brave, as is all the members of Pussy Riot. Um, knowing what you guys have sacrificed and what you all could possibly do, you could be killed for your activism. Navalny made a statement at his appeal about what he wishes for Russia's future, and he said, quote, I want Russia to be free, but that's not enough in itself. We have everything, but we are somehow still an unhappy country. I propose changing our slogan. Russia will be not only free, but also happy. Russia will be happy. Are you seeing any positive changes? And what do you think Americans need to know about Alexei Navalny and Pussy Riot and what we can do here at home to keep the emphasis on the fight you guys are doing such incredible work to keep going? So the, the first thing is amplifying our voices. Um, and the second thing, um, well, you can do your own actions. You can do... Um, you can do your own uh, support actions, and it's really amazing, actually. You know, so I remember when I was in jail, and uh, my lawyer would bring me um, photos of actions all around the world in support of Pussy Riot. It really warmed my heart, and it made me feel like we are not defeated, even though we are in jail and Putin is still in power. But we, we knew that uh, we are not alone, and um, this is just priceless. And regarding Russia, um, that should be happy. It definitely um, should. And um, I already live in Russia that is happy because um, I'm surrounded by the community that stands with truth. And I chose to be in this community since 2007. And um, we are fighting with the evil that we have uh, in the Kremlin. And we are fighting for Russia to be happy because I know that um, Russia, m that Russia, one hundred percent can be happy. Well, Nadia, I really have the utmost respect and admiration for you and all members of Pussy Riot and all the incredible work you have been doing for such a long time. Please know that so many Americans fight with you and support you and support everything you're doing. I really appreciate you taking the time to join us today, and please continue the fight and let us know how we can continue to help you here at the View. Thank you so much for having me.